So if the wind is agreeable, they'll fly today. But it's their only shot because it's their assigned time slot. It's, uh, are you familiar with the area? I, I live there. I don't live there now. But you know where uh, Field Turtle Road is? So if you go down Field Turtle and you take a right onto, uh, I guess, Montgomery, um, you take a left at one of those lights, you get on Union um, City Road, I guess, or Union Cemetery. Road. It's off there. We're doing flights to Montgomery. We do flights to Montgomery. It's actually nice to, you know, that we have a good relationship with them and it keeps everyone safe. So if something, you know, happens, the test pilot's safe and so everything, you know, is, uh, you know, real nice there. So, you know, we can uh, get good relationships with all these people and everything like that, so. Okay. Yeah, no, exactly. Yep. Can I get a little video of the inside? No, you can, no, you can't go inside. No, I just want to shoot a little bit of video from standing out here. Okay, that's okay. Okay. Yeah. Could you move out of the way? <laughs> or, oh yeah, I can move here if you want to kind of. Yeah. No, I, yeah, I don't. Want, I don't want the camera coming into the aircraft. Okay, that's fine. You just step back. You're kind of making it tough. Yeah. Sorry. Yes, sir. Yeah, we do test flights daily. He's distracted, making sure my camera lens doesn't cross the plane of the door here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he kind of distracted. No, seriously, when are you going to fly? Uh, we're going to be flying um, at 2.47. 2.47? Not sure what this is. Not at all. We actually, our, te our test pilot is a rotocraft pilot. He's an army pilot. Uh, yeah, 245 after uh, shots. Yes, sir. 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 The battery's design is a buffer and also a backup to be able to get down to the ground safely in case the... It's a equivalent... It's a one hour of flight time, three hours on the aircraft, 13 hours on the aircraft. Yes, sir. Yep. Flying since May, um, so we we don't want to go too crazy with our demonstration, but we want to show everybody behind the scenes of what's going on. What are you telling us as the general public? How far have you flown? Exactly. Yeah, I was about to ask what oh. kinds of things have you done? Oh, even yeah, even regardless of what you do today. Yeah, so we 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 we, uh, we we only fly at five feet. It's been at the max at ten feet, um, and then we do we we done pedal turns, we've done roll commands, pitch and roll. And yeah, so we've done all the access. It's really commands. doing incremental testing, yeah. little by little. Yeah, and because of the battery pack is so small, this is a reduced battery pack for the weight right. um, that we're only able to fly three minutes at a time. Okay. So we have over an hour of flight time, so mm. three minutes at a time. But again, it's all incremental. So you start as light as possible. Yeah, right. You get bigger batteries later on. Exactly. And then these are all off-the-shelf components at this point. Oh. Um, so none of this is optimized, or customized at all. So it, these are all just very 
rude and crude uh, measurements. Because you don't have stuff. 10 million bucks right, to exactly. blow on right. new stuff. So yeah, so this will, we proved the concept, hey, we are able to fly and have stable flight with this configuration. We just need, uh, you know, our own custom motors and custom propellers and we'll be ready to go. So what are these, mo what's this, the details on these motors? So these motors are, uh, these are an Emrax, just Sylvania company who makes these electric motors here. These are 87-inch uh, uh, propellers right here. Um, so we're going to actually scale them up to 92-inch uh, propellers, okay. and then we'll also have more available torque. That's a, that's our limiting factor. This Can you point. tell me what the horsepower and torque on these motors uh, is? So I actually don't know or off the top of my head, but I do roughly? know the, they're about, it's uh, 25, we're pulling about 25 to 30 kilowatts, which is about... Total? Per motor. Oh, per motor. Okay, right. okay, okay. And then, so we so that's like 40 horsepower or something, right, maybe? Something like, it's like that. 750 watts of horsepower? Yeah, I actually don't know the conversion. I'm sorry. I, Googled I think it's the 750 yeah. watts for one horsepower. Okay. Or it's right around yeah, there. 746 maybe or something. Sounds about right, yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, what I can tell you is that we have a 300 horsepower engine that runs nominally to power everything. And then it's... Oh, in here? Not this one, but that's that's the next step. It's a 300, 300 horsepower engine with 350 peak power that generates the electricity. Ah, uh, so it's going to be a hybrid. It's a hybrid, exactly. Right. Oh. So you have battery backups and also a battery buffer in case you get a big gust of wind and you need more power all of a sudden. So when it runs out of gas, will it go for a few minutes on battery power so you can land it? Is that the idea? No, the idea is that the battery is there just in case the engine goes out. It's a redundancy built okay. in. Okay, so, so you want to land before the yes. you're out of gas. Yes, exactly right. Okay. You know? And you'll have your reserve built into that as well. So you'll get one hour of flight time with two people plus your reserve and then also that's with, the goal yeah that, that that's what it's spec for we okay. entered our type certification with the FAA and that's oh. what we submitted with them oh, okay um, and then with uh, one person you can fly for two hours with your because lighter weight you have yeah, less weight different. yeah so it's just a bouncing app just so, like everything. so really the original concept was put a 300 horsepower gasoline engine in and run electricity with it yeah exactly right yep there's another vehicle in one of the tents over here uh, that, and the guy, there, I think it's like a motorcycle, kind of with three, yeah, yeah, exactly, three right. fans. Right. Same thing. Right. It's hybrid. Yeah, exactly. Just because the battery technology isn't there yet. Right. You know? Right. And then you start burning through battery packs. You know, it gets very expensive. Right. So, specific energy of gasoline is still just so, higher. So, than is this all just a proof of concept, or is this, there a final end customer you're looking for? So, this is a proof of concept, but there is a final end customer. There's a military disaster relief as well as uh, we have uh, a lot of people already interested in put uh, pre orders down. Okay, sounds good. Um, so yeah, we already have uh, pre-orders in, and uh, we have already have a market. Uh, what about just as like a commuter? It yeah, sounds exactly. like it'd be great for commuting. Commuting, and then uh, it goes an hour. Right. And a lot of people uh, have approached us about that, like, oh, I want to start an air taxi in Indianapolis oh. or things like that. Wow. So, yeah. So that's, it's been exciting. So you know that you got people that want to buy it. Yeah, exactly. I'm always wondering what is the what is the first from the surface up to about 50 or 75 feet going to look like around a city with all these things zooming all over the place. Right. Is it going to be just as bad as these stupid cars? Well, just question. think, just think of the factor of of increase in the space you've got, though, right? I mean, now we got one layer, but you could have in rural, fifty layers. In rural areas, you'd have a hundred layers. I live in Chicago. Yeah, They're, that space is already occupied by a lot of uh, freaking concrete. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have that much. Space. No, no, right, 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 and right. It, and it, the concrete, you know, it's just a concrete jungle, and it finally goes down. Uh, but, you know, but even at, even in uh, out in the suburbs, I actually live out in the suburbs, we live in Chicago, I live in dead in and that's probably how I would be there. Yeah. It's pretty nasty there. But anyway, I'm just imagining these guys, I mean, what, what would they do? Like, look, look at this craft. So let's say it's 10 feet tall, right? So this craft, for a safety margin, I think would at least need 10 feet below and 10 feet above. So this thing needs a 30-foot slot. In other words, not to run into things. Right, so they're going to assign 30-foot roads. But you know, if it's electronic and you've got thousands of feet, I don't know. I think the potential is pretty huge. And depending on well, like, if this thing can go thousands of feet, but right now we got that battery issue. Right? Yeah, right. But no, uh, but I'm thinking of the potential. We have it spec oh, yeah. for five thousand feet. Okay, but 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 you got no. Well, that's a lot of thirty foot chunks. Yeah. Right, but you got nowhere near the, the power to do five thousand feet yet. That's way off into the future. Oh uh, no, it's three years off. That's how far we are. We've well, already entered our type certification. But now you're Pessimist, five, uh, optimist. Uh, no, wait, wait, wait. Uh, but now uh, you're five thousand feet flying with me. Okay. Okay, and I'm doing 175 knots. This is limited to 70 knots. Yeah. Oh, and besides, Get no one's gonna make you. Way. No Get one's gonna. Out of the way. Oh, right. I see what you're saying. Okay. Right. I got okay. What's so, here? in other words, when you hop in an airplane, yeah. you don't want to be worrying about if you're gonna collide yeah. with one of these. Yeah. You're not a pilot. Yeah, because he's going slow. You're not that a pilot. Makes, right? That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, no. Okay. That doesn't mean I'm stupid, though. I'm not. No, I mean I, I know a lot about aviation. I've already, already almost. I understand concerns. I already almost hit a drone, a four-foot drone. Okay. 
by an airport. That's a pretty big drone. It was totally fucking illegal flying. Yeah. Because, you know, the FAA's trying to regulate those guys. Right. Yep. Okay. I come so close to a drone in my airplane. Yeah. That's what happened. So the you're drone. pretty concerned about it. Yeah. Yeah. The owner like, would have lost yeah. a twenty-five hundred dollar drone. I'd have lost my life. No. Yeah. Right. It's, right. It's a real concern. So yeah. that's. I, so I mean, if everybody was in these and all us were gone, and I mean, guess who we get? Guess who we get to leave those decisions to? Right. They effed up FAA, right? Well, you don't need to convince me about that. Okay, well, but they're like all government. I feel your pain. I I understand your feelings on that. Okay, so this is in its infancy. I mean, I'm glad you guys are throwing something at it and giving it a try. Because this stuff has got to be thrown up and and, and we got to work the bugs out and find out how it really works. Right. right? Mm -hmm. My envision of this is that these things are only about 10 feet off or in 30 foot slots up to maybe 400 feet. Mm -hmm. So now we got, instead of one road where everybody's got to be on the same road in a line, right? right? We got all these roads and because. Now, the higher and higher we get, now these roads can be omnidirectional right? in all these slots. But see, you're, you're viewing that as, as a negative. I'm viewing no, no, that as... No, that as a positive. That's why I'm oh, okay, okay, okay. Did you see how much more road space we got? No. And these things no, that's go, what I'm saying. And these yeah. things go in a straight line. They're not stuck with stoplights. No, right, right. Okay. You're just you're trying to think of all the potential problems well, and yeah. th- issues that have to be addressed. Yeah, the yeah, issues that have to be addressed. But I, I envision that we got, you know, we got 12 roads going up. Right, and that and that that kills the that kills the crazy traffic on the ground that we're stuck on four wheels on the ground. Right. And now we'll get where, where we want to go in a straight line. Right. We don't have to stop. Right. There's gonna be no cops. Just yeah. like why, why I like flying so much. There's no yeah. cops. Right. right. And right. I fly in a straight line. I mean, I really yeah. I can't go too fast. Or whichever way you want to go. Or whatever way I want to go. Yeah. I see this as a huge solution. All right. To a big ground traffic problem, but there are a lot of logistics to work out for sure. A lot of just, yeah. The stuff uh, I'm seeing, you know, these are gonna turn into Ubers, essentially Ubers with you know driverless Ubers. I'm guessing all of this though is less your concern. Than just the technology. Exactly. Yeah, right. You guys right. get the technology up. Yeah, right. I get it. I yeah. get it. That's cool. But yeah, I'll, I'll see you definitely. Flying just a few minutes. All right. Okay. Hey, have fun. See you too. Hey, thanks. Yeah, no problem. The ferry, which we're moving the aircraft back and forth, right? Yeah, that is correct. That is the tug. You see, Elliot, you know, he's actually the RV over here. He's pulling out the craft.